Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias and welcome back to Animatica 2 Expert Mode. In the last episode, um, we were doing a lot of work. We managed to get the induction smelter, the magma crucible, and completed all of the quests uh, in the immersive engineering page. So we're done with the immersive engineering quests. There's still more to do with immersive engineering, but we'll get to that later. Um, but for now, what I am working on is um, one of the projects I said I was going to do last episode, uh, which is uh, getting more of these advanced inscribers. And, you know, I started to think, you know, we're going to set this up today. And I thought, you know what? No, actually, we're not. Uh, probably not anyways because we need to get our power we need to get power situated and put up higher um which i guess we could just go ahead and do and kind of a temporary setup um we can get rid of all this put the producers up above and that would work um you know what? we might do that let's go ahead and do that uh, and then we can get the applied energistic stuff set up so that we can have all of the um, processors that we could ever want, ever. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be the first thing we do today. Um, now you might have noticed I found something over there. Um, if you didn't notice the first time, I just pointed it out. So uh, we're going to go take a look at that here in a little bit. But in order for us to be able to get... Uh, you know what? It'd be better to put it like straight up from here. So um, this is going to be kind of a temporary setup, obviously. But um, what we're going to end up doing is uh, putting our power up here for the time being. And we can move applied energistic stuff up here if we so choose. So that's kind of the idea. Um, I don't know where I want to have the applied energistic stuff quite yet. Um, I do know that I want it to be on the second floor. Um, but the question is kind of where. Uh, we can have... So, for the applied energistic stuff, we're going to have... Let's see, I don't need that anymore, and I don't need that anymore. Um, for the applied energistic stuff, we're going to have um, a bunch of the combination of interfaces and molecular assemblers. We can always put those somewhere else. Um, and we're gonna need to have the advanced inscribers somewhere. So I guess what we could do is put them in, uh, can I make this jump? I can, and then fall back down again. Oh man, let's just, can I make this jump? Yes, I can, cool, that's a lot easier. Um, so what we could do Let's just kind of mark this out. So this kind of makes a room. And we could have a wall here. And we could basically just cut off this section. Like so. And have this area be applied energistics. We could have a couple towering. We could we could do a lot of the stuff here. I think that'd be fine. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. Um, let's just keep this here for now. Uh, I'll replace this. Eh, you know what? We can we have the supplies. Let's go ahead and get this switched out. Um, and then we can at the very least set up the stuff. Um, now in order for it to actually work, um, the advanced inscribers need to be attached to the applied energistic system. Uh, so that is kind of an unfortunate thing. But not really. Um, so where do we want this? We're going to go two, two, three, and then something like this. I think that'll be good. So what we're going to have with the advanced inscribers is we're going to have um, all five of these guys set up so that we can uh, insert and export out of them fairly easily. And we're going to need one, two, three, four. Uh, that guy has power, so he is not going to be cooperative. Um, so, yeah. This is not going to be too awful to take care of. 
Um, but we are going to want to use, uh, if I have any of them, are they in here? No. Did I never make any? Um, we're going to want to make some item conduits. Uh, these guys are going to make things so much easier. And we're going to need a chest to kind of uh, be the basis of our system. So to make the item conduits, we're going to need pulsating iron. And we can get that from, uh, yeah, the uh, induction smelter we made last time. Now, I did go ahead and make uh, another set of machine frames so we can use those today as well. And, and we will. Uh, so, yeah, this should be fine. This is going to give us the pulsating iron. We're going to turn that into uh, a few... A few iron or uh, item conduits so how can we make more of these gravel sand and two clay so let's see there is sand are we actually like low on gravel no not at all all right so let's get this can I just I can. I love it when mod packs add that recipe. I wish Vanilla Minecraft would add that recipe um, of being able to turn clay into um, the item form from the block form. It'd be so nice. Anyways, let's get this stuff smelted up and put that stuff away. All right. So the other thing that we're going to want, and this is going to be the expensive part, is filters. So I think we're going to pass on the filters for now. Um, but we can get the the general idea of what's going to happen kind of set up. So there's one set. And the other two. All right, cool. We'll let that smelt up. So what we're going to do, and um, the nice thing is these will just require... Um, the advanced inscribers do not actually require any sort of uh, channels or anything like that. They just require power. So one, two, three, four, five. We could just do it right here and do, um, how do we want to do this? One, two, three, four, five. And then we can have um, the chest up above like so uh, maybe one over and then this will be where the uh, interface goes once we're ready for that so um, I don't believe these are sided but what we can do is we can have silicon um, and we're gonna lock everything that's not the center except for the last one Last one will be completely unlocked. So, um, logic press. Actually, let's do order uh, calculation engineering logic. And then all we'll need is filters. So, I'm hoping that these aren't cited, but they might be. Um, this will be like, you know, extract always active. Um, this will be insert extract on red. Sure, why not? Um, Oh no, this will be extract on red. And, or, hmm, I guess we'll have to do extract on green. Uh, and then these four will be filtered. This one will be filtered. Filtered. We'll need five filters, but to make the filters, we're gonna need hoppers, and hoppers require a bunch of aluminum or iron. Uh, I mean, if we're gonna want five of those, we're gonna need 25 iron or aluminum so uh, we're gonna just kind of wait around on that and the other thing is we can't really get to that area yet um, we have to move more applied logistic stuff up there in order for that to work so um, we're just gonna we're just gonna wait on that for now so what is the main thing we want to do today well I want to get in Derium, uh, and I want to get in Derium so that I can start getting into um, higher tiers of mining um, which this leveled up by the way it was kind of cool. So that is kind of the plan. Um, so in order to get Enderium Blim, we're going to need the Resident Ender Bucket.
That is easy enough. Um, four ender pearls. And we put that in here. And I don't know if we can bucket it out or not, but we're, we're definitely going to try. Otherwise, we can get it out other ways. Um, then we're also going to need three pulverized lead, which easy enough, and platinum. The platinum is the issue. Um, doesn't matter how we get the lead. Can we get it from... We can do crushing mechanism. That'll be fine. Let's take all of those. Put them in there. You can go in here. Alright, so this is done. It is... There we go. Resident Ender Bucket. Perfect. So just put that there. And we'll have that soon enough. But in order to make the last thing, which is platinum, we're going to need a pulverizer. And so let's go ahead and make that. Um, the pulverizer is not awful. Uh, we're going to need eight copper, um, two of these with a piece of gold. Uh, I've seen a lot of this stuff before. Uh, there is the lead that we're going to need. And we're also going to need, what else? Uh, two pistons, that's easy enough. Uh, we're going to need a crusher. I haven't actually made one of those yet. Oops. Wrong thing. Um, copper plates is not what I wanted. Um, let's go ahead and empty that out. All right. Well, let's <laughs> let's get three more copper. I'll put the plates in there, and that was an accident, but whatever. Uh, okay. So the machine frame goes in the center. Copper gears. I don't know if we're gonna use the other machine frame today or not. We'll see. Um, there is the redstone reception coil, and then we need what? We need two pistons, which I have, thanks to all the villages around, and uh, two flint large press. So we need compressed flint with a metal press, uh, a plate press. So I don't even know that I have that much flint. Um, there's two in there. Okay, we do. So this shouldn't be a problem. But it requires the metal press, which is not unexpected. So now we just switch these out again. Make sure we actually do that. And then these two can go through. So the only thing left we need is the crusher. Um, which actually might be a quest. Let's go see. Um, it would be actually additions. It is. Cool. So this is something that we might end up making another one eventually, but uh, for now we're going to use it to make the pulverizer. Uh, we're kind of skipping ahead a little bit. Um, so we're going to need two flint. We're going to need um, two redstonia, which we should have access to at least. Um, we just pop those there. Laser them. And there's redstonia. Uh, then we're going to need two basic coils. So we're going to need aluminum wires, impregnated sticks, and inori crystals. So I have one inori crystal, and we're going to need three more. That is just iron. We're going to need one, two, three, four aluminum. So let's get the inori crystals. And then the aluminum wires. And this is the part where it might get nasty. So we have those. We're going to need impregnated sticks. 
Uh, now we have treated sticks, but that's not the same thing. Uh, in order to get impregnated sticks, we need wood and seed oil or olive oil and a carpenter. Uh, now we have a carpenter, that's fine. Um, we're gonna make a bucket's worth of this stuff. Um, but the question is, do we have a way to get either of those items? We have a squeezer. That is how we get either of those items. Um, so if we want olive oil, we can squeeze olives. That actually might be the easiest. Um, let's just put it right here. Why not? Uh, so do we have any olives and or olive trees? Otherwise, we can go find one, hopefully. Not seeing anything. Um, I think we're going to switch food for a little bit. We're going to switch to coconut shrimp just because it's a little bit better. All right, so... I guess we're going to go find an olive tree. Now, I wish I knew what they look like. They kind of look like these, but I don't believe... Are these olive trees? If they are, then this is going to be really easy. They are. Cool. So, we break the olive tree, and we get a bunch of olives. Now, actually, we only got five. That's kind of surprising. We only need four. Let's, let's be honest. Um... So that that's that. Um, <laughs> not much to say, I guess. Uh, let's put the olive wood. We've cut down olive trees before. We probably have some olive wood somewhere. Oh, it's probably, or rather olives. They're probably back that way at our um, old base. So if we get four of these, we're going to need a bucket. So real quick, we're going to run over to... Um, what I found, which is a zombie dungeon. Uh, I found a decent cave. Uh, I was looking for tin. We were out of tin. I uh, needed to make a bunch of tin to make the machine frames. Um, that wasn't a big deal. But uh, basically, just went over this way and saw this big cave right here. And there's a ton of ores. You can see where I've kind of picked at it. Um, this was full of mobs as well. But there's still plenty of ores here I'm going to get later including some aluminum that I ac accidentally left, evidently. Um, but I just kind of was going this way, and I saw that. Um, granted, it was dark. Um, but this way, there is a gigantic ravine down here with a skeleton that was trying to shoot me. That was rude. Ooh. Is that one of those, like, weird ice biomes? Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, so we might explore down there eventually, but, um, yeah, I was just going this way and saw this, and when I got close, this was actually completely blocked up. Um, there was zombies, so, yeah, just a zombie spawner. Uh, we're gonna take all this stuff, if we can, which we should be able to. I have extra space, um... So let's put the stuff we're working with in there. And yeah, so zombie spotter, kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if we're going to keep it. I don't know if we're going to do anything with it, but it's there. Oh, right, we have this air charm now. Um, walk on air. We're going to just right-click and toggle that off. Thank you very much. Um, cool. Cool. So, uh, luckily that is another chest. That is also kind of important. Um, but, let's head back up. Uh, I just wanted to point that out. I found a zombie dungeon. Uh, not like zombie spawners are that hard to find, but uh, the chest is kind of the, the cooler thing. I want to show off what all we got, which the air charm was kind of the coolest thing. Um, we got some mana steel, emeratic crystals, dark steel. Um, definitely some cool stuff, but nothing... Nothing fantastic. So, um, by now we should have um, the olive oil. And then we can make the impregnated sticks. Now, there is next to no reason why I use the olives other, other than um, olive oil. We get 250 per an, for an olive and we can make the impregnated sticks. If we wanted seed oil, um, we only get 10 millibuckets for each seed. So it's quite literally just um, efficiency. 
So let's put some of this stuff away. Um, I guess that'll go in there. That'll go in there. And, you know, uh, this goes in there. Okay, so let's sort this out just a little bit. Uh, that goes in there. To put our extra bucket in there. Um, same with the Emirata crystal, I think, because we're not going to use that anytime soon. Hair charm and chest goes in here. Bread and the extra olive. Go in here. Oh, I had a whole bunch of olives. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so let's sleep. And um, we'll get the impregnated sticks. That will get us the coils. Let's make sure there's nothing else in there. And I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, it's the bucket. Never mind. I figured it out. Okay. Which, speaking of which, we actually need this bucket. To get that out, put it in there, and then we're gonna need logs. Um, I don't want to use my great wood. Great wood is easy enough, but um, we're gonna put that in the base, I guess. Let's use some spruce wood and. We're going to put most of this in here and just see how much we get. Um, we're going to get a good, good bit of impregnated sticks, which is good. We'll need it for later. Um, but there is more to be done. Uh, so once we have... Let's see, did we already get the wires? Nope. The wires go like so. And then we have 20 impregnated sticks, which is not too shabby. That will make the two basic coils. So I think we have everything for the crusher except for um, the iron casing, which I already have one. So we're just going to go ahead and make the crusher. Cool. So that should be a quest. Um, detect, submit, claim. And uh, the crusher is something that we'll end up using later for stuff. Um, not too worried about it right now, but it's the last ingredient we need for the pulverizer. Uh, which is still not the first thing we need to make with, uh, thermal expansion. Uh, it's the redstone furnace, and I don't, I don't know that I want to make that yet. So, we'll, we'll see. Anyways, we put the pulverizer down, and I'm going to turn all the auto-eject stuff off. Um, and we're going to grab some nickel ore. Now, it's a 10% chance we only need one. So we're just going to put 10 in. Um, that should guarantee that we will get, uh, just a single piece of platinum. And hopefully, I mean, granted, it's, it's statistics. Uh, 10 is the optimal number. We should get at least one with every 10. We did. Um, which means now that, one, we can cook up the rest of the nickel. But we can make Enderium. Blend. And what that means now for us is we can use this in the induction smelter with sand um, to get Enderium. And then the Enderium we can smelt up to make our cast. So we're going to need just two ingots, I believe. So we'll put four in there. One, two, three, four. And that is super fast. All right. So um, we made the pulverizer. Cool. So I believe for this, in order to make the um, Enderium sharpening kit, we need two ingots worth. So that is nice and easy. I really need to upgrade some stuff. Um, ooh, a little bit of a lag spike. Okay, so we'll get this. Let's 
melting up and we do have enough temperature that's good sharpening kit goes down and yeah that's that's that um let's go ahead and jump back up here we're gonna put the other bucket away um let's put it in here we can put our nickel away i believe it's this one and unfortunately we just don't have enough space in here for everything uh what can we get rid of the peridot and the ruby we don't need anytime soon actually rubber and flint we can put in here why not um impregnated sticks are also gonna go in there let's go ahead and open our loot chest while we're waiting and we got some clay how much do we get 16 not bad not great but not bad all right so it's not quite done yet but it should be pretty close yeah um so this is going to give us the quest at the beginning in the getting started um i have a funny feeling i know what the next one is and it's not going to be fun so enderium sharpening kit um ooh, platinum or ender pearls uh to be fair we can get ender pearls fairly easily platinum is a lot harder to get so i think for now we're gonna go for the platinum um eventually we will set up a mob farm uh and we'll make it so that we can get uh enderman so this will give us the sharpening kit we combine with flint on oof, that's gonna break very soon um we combine with flint on the tool forge and that will increase our picks level which currently is at um osglos uh which okay whatever but this is mining level 10. um we're gonna take the platinum like i said and is this what i think it is is it terra steel yeah all right well this is not gonna happen for a while um i don't think anyways yeah there's not a recipe for it um because it is heavy batania stuff um we're gonna need this thing called the terrestrial agglomeration plate uh which is the standard recipe luckily most of this stuff looks like it's the standard recipe um and then we use this to make uh terra steel so that's gonna be a ways off i'm not gonna lie it's it's a ways off so looks like we're done for now on that um but we can go ahead and get this to enderium and nothing but the fortified is going to change so cool uh, I don't know what that gives us. I don't know if it if it actually does anything for us or not, but uh, we did it, so who cares? Uh, okay, so what is we have two coal ore. We can we can do something with these. Um, smelt it, or we can enrichment. Um, or we can pulverize it and get even more. Uh, so the pulverizer is going to be very useful. Uh, don't get me wrong, we're we're gonna we're gonna use that a lot. But uh, now we got to figure out what else we're gonna do for today's episode. We're kind of running low on time, so I don't want to get into anything kind of major. Um, so let's take a look. You know what? Uh, because it would give us a bunch of quests, thermal expansion. How bad is the redstone furnace? Oh, it's easy. All right, well, let's let's get going again. So we need this. We're going to need one of these, two of these, eight of those. Um, nothing too difficult here. Just make sure we get everything right. And I think it's this machine. Nope, this machine. There is there are two gears. We're gonna need some bricks, that's not too bad. Um, we might also already have, we can steal two bricks, that's not a big deal, and then a piece of redstone, that's it. So yeah, this was really easy to make, but super useful. 
Um, I don't know that we're going to use it right away, but the redstone furnace is done. All right, so let's complete that. Um, it has an upgrade that is the pyrolytic conversion. Um, oh, acts as a Coke oven. Okay. Uh, now, a lot of these upgrades that are the conversions, um, they only allow for certain items to be processed. Um, and they're, they're basically specializations. Um, all of the machines have something pretty much, um, but not all of them are useful. Oh, we're going to need to get Cinnabar. Okay, we can do that. So let's go ahead and claim that one. And then we just need to get a thing of Cinnabar. Um, we're going to put this in here for now. Um, and to get Cinnabar, we just need to get some redstone or processed. And there we go. So there's Cinnabar. That is good for induction smelting. Um, whether or not we'll use that or not, I don't know. Um, Igneous extruder, how bad is that? That requires a device frame. That's actually pretty, pretty easy. We could... We could go ahead and make that. Um, you know what? Let's let's go for it. The igneous extruder is used for making um, stone, all sorts of stone products. So I think we can do that. Uh, it's going to require glass. We're going to need like five glass and a bunch of copper, um, and then like a piece of invar, two invar. So we're going to need one more, uh, which we can use the induction furnace for. So uh, there, there's a lot of different ways we can make the same things now, uh, which is kind of cool. It means we can kind of double up on stuff as well. But let's put that away. We're going to need one of those and four of these. Let's get the sand cooking up. Uh, we need five sand. And I forgot I made a whole bunch of nickel. Um, cool. So we're going to need three gears. So that is that. And then we're going to need a copper coil block. Um, one, two, three, four. With the wire press. And I think that's pretty much at, uh, everything. So um, the, the copper coil block is easy enough. Just wait for the last smash. Um, two of these. And oh my gosh. There we go. There's that with our piece of iron. And then once we get the glass, we can make everything else. That is the wrong place for the copper. Copper goes there. Uh, Alright. So we make... Oh my gosh. Um, I was trying to, trying to click on it. It wasn't working. Device frame and then igneous extruder. Cool. Um, we'll claim that. So we can produce cobblestone, stone, or obsidian. Um, it does require a little bit of power. Um, but we can also use it to make sandstone and sand um, and gravel and all sorts of stuff. Um, and it does make all the different types of... Ooh, it makes chiseled basalt. I always like using that basalt, but it's always so hard to find. Um, but yeah, we can use it to make a bunch of things. Um, it's a cobblestone generator, basically. But it's a, not the best of ones. So I think that's where we're going to end off for today. Uh, let's go ahead and open. We have four loot chests. Augments. We had those already. Part chest. Uh, another future block. And a crafter. Two crafter tier threes. That's really nice because we can make more molecular assemblers with that. Cool. Uh, we're going to put those in there. So that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, next time, I have no idea what we're going to do. Um, we will figure things out. We'll kind of... Um, 
I, I we need to start getting some automation up and running for this base so that we can uh, I think the next thing that we really need to focus on is getting a uh, planet logistics kind of set up and uh, moved uh, we might put it just all in that room if there is enough space um, but at the very least we'll put a good bit of it um, we can always move and put the auto crafting stuff somewhere else and just have this for um, storage and this type of stuff uh, there's a couple other things that we're gonna want to make like um, flux crystals uh, these guys we either need to make from mystical agriculture which we can't get into quite yet we've got to go to the end for that or we throw it in fluid and there's ways to automate that um, eventually we will use the the flux essence um, we might actually put that up here uh, just make things easier but I don't know I haven't decided everything yet um, we'll kind of play it by ear for now um, but yeah we we need to get automation with applied logistics I think that might be the next thing we work on and then we can go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.